Today, we are making a content calendar in Notion from scratch. So if you want a content calendar in Notion that you want to make from scratch, then stick around for this video where from scratch, we are going to be making a content calendar in Notion. So if you use Notion and you need a content calendar and you want to make it from scratch, then today we are making a content calendar in Notion from scratch. So the first thing we are going to do is do forward slash and write data. And here we are going to click on table view. We do not want to click on inline or full page. We want to click on table view here. Now, what we're going to be doing with this is it's going to be the place that we store our ideas, but it will also be our content calendar. So I'm just going to click on new table here. And basically in Notion, what we can do is see the same database as two different views. So this database here, we're going to have as our idea list, but we will also see this as the calendar view. So let's just call this content, something like that. Here is where we're going to add all of the different properties that we want to see. So we can rename the name property here to idea or something like that. And by the way, this content calendar works whether you're a YouTuber, whether you're posting on Instagram reels, whether you're writing tweets, whether you have a newsletter, it doesn't really matter. All we're doing today is building a simple system for you to see your actual content schedule. Now, most likely many of you have more than one channel. So we're going to write that here in the tags. But if you're not seeing this tags property here, I'm just going to delete this and add a new one. So I'll click on the plus here and I can add a new property. So I'm going to click on the select one. And here I'm going to call this channel or account or whatever you want to call it. And I'll add a few, let's do YouTube and newsletter and then click on create. So they're the two I have. By the way, if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, link is in the description. So we have this very simple table here. Now what we want to do is see this table as a calendar. So what I'm going to do here is write forward slash cal and here you can see calendar view. I'll click on that. And now instead of clicking on new calendar, I'm actually going to select this. Now, if it's not coming up in your research, you can actually just search for it and it will come up. So here I have content. So this database and this database is the same. And now, as you can see, this date column has been added. So if I add anything to this like that, you can now see that it shows up on here. These two are speaking to each other, which is really useful. So what we'll do is just move this database underneath this one like that. So you just use the six dots here and you can pick it up and drag it wherever you want. And now we have the calendar view here and we have this here. Sorry to interrupt, I'm editing this video and I realized I forgot to mention that I have an all-in-one content creator template called Publish OS. It's got a content calendar, a feature that automatically ranks all of your content ideas. You can track sponsorships, it's got keyword research, content analytics, and a ton of other stuff. Link is in the description if you're interested. So for this, we wanna have two different views. The first view is we want to see all ideas that haven't been posted that are just to do with YouTube. And then the second view we're going to create is all ideas that haven't been posted. When I say that, by the way, I either mean posted in the past or scheduled for the future. And we want to have another tab here where we're just seeing the newsletter that hasn't been posted slash uploaded. All right, so what I'm going to do is right click on table and do rename. And I'm going to call this YouTube. Obviously you'll call this whatever platform you use. So we're going to click on this icon here, which means filter. And we're going to do a very simple filter today. Basically, if it's got a date associated with it, like this, so this piece of content is showing up here. So if I call this something like blah, you can see blah is showing up here. It's the same thing. We don't want to see this in the list now. We only want to see our different ideas. So what we're going to do is click on this filter and click on date. And basically the rule is very simple where the start date is, and we're going to say empty. So if this date property doesn't have anything in it, then it's not going to show up in this list as it's showing up here. Super simple, super easy to do. We have one more setting. We only want to see stuff under the YouTube that has to do with YouTube. So let's add another thing here, YouTube, and I'll write blah, blah. And for newsletter, I'll write newsletter, blah, there we go. So now because we only wanna see YouTube related stuff on the YouTube tab, we're going to add another filter and we are going to click on channel. And we're going to say where channel is YouTube. And now you can see the newsletter is no longer showing up. And now what we're going to do is right click on YouTube. And if you want, you can change the icon here as well. So I could do a little video icon, there we go. And now we're going to right click on YouTube again and do duplicate. So when you duplicate a view, you actually automatically duplicate all the filter settings with it, which is very useful because now we only have to make one change in here. So I'll call this newsletter and change this to uh, maybe writing, there we go, a pen. So now we have the newsletter tab, but we only want to see stuff that is relating to the newsletter, obviously. So we'll click on filter here. And as you can see, because we duplicated it, it already has this channel is YouTube. 
So all we have to do here is uncheck YouTube and tick in newsletter. And now we have a simple idea capture system, YouTube and newsletter. So anytime we think of a YouTube idea, we can just add it in here, blah, 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 blah. I've now added this in here as a YouTube idea and I've got all of my newsletter ideas in here. Now the last question is, how do I know if this blah piece of content is to do with either YouTube or the newsletter? Well, what I can do here is change a setting on this calendar view. So I'm going to rename calendar view just to content calendar. Here I'm going to click on properties and here where it says channel, I'm just going to click on the eyeball. And now you can see that YouTube is showing up. So now I can add my ideas straight into this content calendar. So let's say I know I want to post on Monday. I can click on add an item, example video, channel, YouTube. I can see that here. Or what I can do is scroll through my ideas here and I can see all of the different ideas I have and either click on here and select the date and it gets added onto here and removed from here. Or I can simply just drag the piece of content onto it just like that. And now it's been added to my content calendar and removed from my ideas list. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see an even more powerful content creator system, I recommend checking out Publish OS. It's the content system and the content framework that is powering my entire audience growth. It has every single feature that you could need as a content creator. Click on this video here to check it out. You will absolutely love it. Thank you so much for watching.